delay, by the way, of course, because it's on land, so I can see you guys in chat immediately. So that that's nice, you know. No audio. It works. Okay, well, I'm getting mixed, mixed thing. I'm pretty, well, farted. A guy called Farted said no audio, so I assume he's just having a bit of a laugh. Sounds like the name of some guy that have a bit of a laugh. There we go, look at this production. Ten seconds remaining. I just found this logo online. I think I made it like ten years ago. Uh, you want the cam? Well, this is the drafting phase. This is where it gets serious. You don't need cam here. We'll put on cam in between games. Uh, so let's see what's going on, guys. Be sure to join in with the uh, anal an analysis. I'll pick up on the best bits in Twitch chat. If, if, you, predict, if you predict a hero, you get a call out. That's how we do it live. So welcome to the MDM with Cal Miner. I am OD Pixel, and we have VGJ Storm versus Infamous. Of course, all games in the groups are best of ones. VGJ Storm opening with the support combo. They got the Tusk, they got the Witch Doctor. Elder Titan, the opening for Infamous. We saw that get a little bit of play. Well, I say a little bit, tiny bit of play at the Major, didn't we, with Secret. So I'm I'm excited to see some more Elder Titan. We've had some some high high hype Elder Titan moments in previous tournaments. Five seconds remaining. Let's see what we got. Now you now you can't predict heroes after they've been picked, I'm afraid. That that doesn't work. No. <laughs> and uh, of course, yeah, big welcome to everyone that's come over to the Twitch chat to watch some Dota 2 today. You are always more than welcome to enjoy some Dota with me. And we are going to have some great series today. I'll give you a little bit of a rundown whilst I can at the series we've got. We've got VGJ Storm versus Infamous. Then next up... Guys, you ready for this? I don't, I don't want to sort of put a shadow on this series, but next up is OG versus Na'Vi. We're going to be covering it here. So OG Na'Vi after this one should be incredibly hype. Then we have E-Home versus VGJ Storm. So back to some some more Chinese, China versus NA action. Uh, LGD versus TNC, and then finally Ehome versus Navi. So we've got some really nice games today. A couple of Navi games for the Navi fans out there. So I'm sure you guys will be sure to stick around for that. And uh, in between, don't go anywhere because we have some other inc in in incredible matchups. And I think it's a, it's a delight to see some of these teams, some of these teams as well that I've not had the chance to see as of recent. We're getting the puck in. I believe that is uh, a bit of an infamous staple. As far as I'm aware. Definitely seen these guys run the puck a fair few times. I will cast the Na'Vi game. Both of them. There's... Well, I say both. Uh, is there some on the mainstream as well? There is. I won't cast Na'Vi versus LFY. So, as I say, do be sure to keep your eyes on the mainstream. We've got two streams going. The mainstream at uh, Beyond the Summit. Uh, the second stream will be on this channel. Uh, my personal channel for the rest of the day. Um, so... We will have OG and Na'Vi and Ehome and Na'Vi, and the mainstream will have Na'Vi versus LFY. There's a lot of games, all the action, every team that you can think of in this tournament is... Uh, in this. Not every team you can think of, because obviously there's a lot of teams you can think of that aren't in the tournament. But everyone, till every team you can think of in the tournament will be having a matchup against one another today in this uh, pretty, pretty crazy group stages. If you guys don't know the format, it's uh, <clears throat> essentially nine teams i believe in groups where they all play each other in like a round robin and then the top top four teams out of the nine move straight forward to single elimination semi-finals where they have one day of playoffs at the end and uh, i will be casting on that day i will be casting the grand final with winter so get some pog champ for my boy winter back on the the land casting he'll be casting the final with me the mic is not working in game it really should do Look, Ten seconds try reloading at your end. Unless, well, actually, to be fair, it's just gone from no mic to, to mic. So maybe it's working now. Maybe for some reason me opening that worked it, but it should definitely work. Open mic. Team. And the threshold's low. So everything's going through. It works. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Is there, just check your voice settings on your side. Oh, no. I know what it is. 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 I apologize. Yeah, yeah. I think it's when I tab out to OBS. So I'll stop doing that. It's when I tab out. So apologies. Yeah, yeah. 
I will stop doing that. And right. So VGJ Storm, Dragon Knight, the pick. We're gonna have some DK versus Puck hype in the middle lane. Winter bullies ever cast. No, we don't. Winter's a very nice young boy. Ancient Apparition, straight up response to the DK, and I like that as well. This is some great team fight from Infamous with the Dream Coil and Ice Blast. And at the same time, a good answer to the high regen they're going to be uh, having with the Witch Doctor Dragon Knight. May feel like a bit of an oversight that VGJ Storm weren't able to take that away. This this feels like a very strong pick. Am I married? Yep, I'm married to the game, boy. Uh, young Winter. What's, your, what's the problem with Team Leviathan? Uh, they need more BSJ. Uh, he needs to jump in a cloning machine. You know, do like Dolly the Sheep. Make four more of him. And then we have five BSJs. And then that team, uh, there's no beating it. That's what we got to see. Fourth pick for VGJ Storm. Where's Ritsu? I don't... Well, but yeah, KP's standing in for Ritsu, right, isn't he? Ritsu's the one missing. I don't know. But uh, just to be sure, do ring your sisters. Make sure they're okay. <laughs> I'm only joking. He's a changed man, Ritsu. We all do silly things when we're young. Uh, Ritsu wasn't kicked, though, as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure he's just not at this land. Oh, Yawar replaced Ritsu. Did he? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the I don't know the, the roster changes in NA. I'm, it's hard to keep up with them. So I don't know what's going on. Weaver, fourth pick for VGJ Storm. And uh I, I like that actually when you see when you see the AA picking up something like the Weaver. Oh he's kicked for sure. Are we uh, I mean Twitch chat, you probably know more about VGJ Storm's going on than I do, so According to Twitch chat he was kicked. <laughs> Oh, CKAA. I gotta be honest, guys. I'm liking what Infamous have here. CKAA, CK with Dream Call as well. CK and the Elder Titan aura is absolutely disgusting. But maybe VGGA Storm are gonna be able to outplay him. I don't know. But and they've still got one more pick left. We'll see. Final ban for VGJ Storm. Looking at Infamous's lineup. You're still worried about what's going on on that offlane, probably. Ah, okay, well, so they think it's an offlane puck. All right. I mean, they're very likely as well. And to be fair... I mean, maybe they feel they're going to take the puck away from the mid lane because there's a DK there. So see. Can I use less? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> TI8 finals prediction. Leviathan versus Fnatic. I... I don't know what you, what world you're living in or what you're taking, but I want to have a go. <laughs> Overwatch winning esports of the year? I mean, <laughs> let's not talk about that. Ah, <laughs> uh. right. Final ban, Batrider. Taken out by Infamous. Let's see what they pick up. What do they want to roll with? Infamous. What are they feeling today on this MDL Macau morning? Or, uh, in fact, uh, mid-afternoon, I believe, and over their side. No cam, no cam during the game, boys. I feel like the webcam detracts from the game. You know, my beauty sort of just is, is so distracting. Got to keep you guys focused on the Dota, you know. Can we better talk about Kuroki losing to Faker? Yeah, I, I again, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, Faker surely. I mean, I don't really know too much, but what I read, he is like you know esport player of the you know of, of many years. He is. He certainly deserves to be very up there at the top with his achievements. But uh, at the same time, in terms of esport player of the year, then I think Kuroki has a much better argument for it. Like, regardless of which game you like. Like, sure, Faker of all time, yeah, you can continue to put him at the top. But if, of this year, like, sure, I'm going to... But I guess I'm biased because I am a Dota caster, but I would definitely put Kuro at the top. Of this year. 
I mean, Faker didn't even win the League of Legends thing, did he? He came, like, second. He lost. Yeah, great player of the year. Couldn't even win the freaking thing, you know. I'm sure the team that beat him are like, what the hell? Why aren't we players of the year? We just won the biggest tournament in League of Legends. Sniper to be the final pick. Okay. Sniper DK. Ah, and Sniper is nice. I like it. I like what Infamous is doing here. I feel that the Weaver could be the issue, though. If this Weaver plays really well, it's there's a lot of heroes on Infamous that the Weaver can get around. Like, who is the Weaver really terrified of? Sure, if they get the lockdown, he just gets bursted. But they, they haven't really got the most reliable lockdown for a Weaver. It was a popularity, but yeah, exactly. I mean, most of the stuff is popularity. Shout out to you. Okay, shout out to P.O. Julaco 0909. Predict last pick. Oh, you put me on the spot here now. I, I was not focused enough. And I would not have predicted a Storm Spirit because there's already a Dragon Knight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have, so what is it going to be? KP, so safe lane Weaver. And I believe it'll probably be an off lane Dragon Knight. And a mid lane Storm. Or is this, I don't know what these VGJ Storm guys do. I don't think anyone would have predicted Storm last pick with Snaking Dragon Knight already in. <laughs> You're going to name my your baby OD Pixel. Well, uh, you, you're going to have to find a woman that's willing to sleep with you first. That might be the... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. That was harsh. I'm joking. I love you. I love you guys in Twitch chat. Good morning to you all. Good morning to you all. Right, and well, let's switch over the overlays, get ourselves into the in-game. Look at that, bam! The overlays move to the top. V they are VGJ Storm. Aha, ha, ha, ha. I see what you did there. This is true. This is true. Maybe this was just like the default. It was like, oh shit, boys, what do we pick? Whip, VG, that's it. Great thinking. We'll go with the name. VGJ Storm. Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm still off online. I've got to turn this offline on Steam so no one sends me any nudes during the game. Happens all the time when I'm online. But uh, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have this beautiful game of Dota 2 going on between these two teams. Infamous versus VGJ Storm. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on the chat. So if you want to send in your pog champs. Your what faces and uh, the op honestly, can we just talk about it's it should be OS for why did they change it? Honestly. I mean I get why they changed it. They want they changed it because they wanted to make sure that they weren't giving old spice any free promotion. But who I didn't have a, no one had a clue that OS Frog was anything to do with Old Spice. Honestly, Twitch, sort out your shit. Anyway, enough of that. More of the Dota. We've got down here on the side of Infamous. Kataro Hayama. I was having a bit of a slow moment then. I looked at this guy's name and I was like, how the hell do you say it? And then I remembered it's my boy Kataro. Kataro Hayama on the CK. Pepita on the sniper. Schofield on the Elder Titan. Oh, hello. KP's walked into this. But as I said, he's a little slippery. I don't know if they can catch this man. They can't. They know that they can't go on that. They have to ignore him. The rest of VGJ Storm coming in. Let's see if they can get an opening. They'll look for the shard. Shards catch two in. They'll pop up the cast. Bounces between Kataro and Pepita. Looks like no one's going to be a bite on Tohu, but now VGJ Storm, they're on the wrong side of the map. These guys, they ain't playing on the dire, but they're positioning themselves as if they are. Stan King's in trouble, gets dragged back. He's got a cast back up in five seconds, but the damage is too much along with the shrapnel. He is going to go down. This is going to be a first blood, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to get it? Pepita will take it. Grabs the kill, takes the first blood. Not over yet, it's infamous. Looking for Stan King. They've got the body block up. They're not... Content with just finding one kill. They want to find a second of Katara. I'll tell you what, with that first point in reality, Rift, easily having the catch to chase down for both, secures the second kill for the side. Infamous kicking off with two kills to begin the game. So over on the side of VGJ Storm, got Fleet on the Tusk, Stanking on the Witch Doctor. Raya. Or we we'll say Raya. I see you Raya on the mid lane Storm and up top. Cape, wait. Oh, hang on. I was gonna say, hang on. Is there some support weaver? No, I was like, KP's playing the carry, isn't he? Yeah. So they'll take KP down to the bottom lane. 
So KP is playing the safe lane Weaver, and it is the off lane Dragon Knight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see how Snaking can do on the off lane. And uh, interesting to see how this mid matchup goes on between Pepita and Raya. I feel like Pepita should have the edge, but maybe things sort of start to change uh, once there's a few levels on the Storm. Storm can shove in the wave a little harder. Especially, obviously, when that 6 is online. They've got to be careful down bottom. Schofield looking to try and pull the Crete wave. Doesn't actually get all of it. And he's actually drawn the attention of both Stanking and Flea. Flea looks for the shard block off. But Schofield cuts his way through the trees. He's going to be fine. KP is on newbie. Oh, yeah, guys, just in case you weren't aware. Um, a newsflash. KP is standing in for VG's J Storm. Newbie are not playing at this tournament. And uh, VG J Storm needed a stand in. And KP, he was the lad to step up. So fair play to him. We'll see how he does. Mid lane, Schofield being looked towards. But with those boots, he's a little too speedy. No boots on the tusk yet. No way of catching that man up. So he is out of there. Down bottom. Oh, Stinger versus Stan. He's going to take a little bit of damage from the Maledict, but he's only level 1, so it won't be enough to kill him. Oh, yeah, KP is no, standing in for VGJ Storm. This is this is not a permanent movement. <laughs> Surprisingly, you know. No, KP is still with Newbie. This is just a one-off for this tournament. Maybe for more. If uh, if it's needed for more and this goes well and Newbie aren't playing in others. Up top, Snaking being gone on. Cold Feet won't proc. He's able to get himself out of range. Still a lot of damage as Schofield punches into it. But Snaking will be fine. Doing alright on this top lane at the moment. Level 3 on the DK. 7 for 3. They are still chasing him though. Schofield and XL really, really going for it. And actually, I did not get to do a full run now of Infamous, did I, I don't believe. Up top, just to, to clarify, Katara Hayama is farming on the CK. And your supports are Schofield, Elder Titan. In a little bit of trouble. Does get Sharp locked up this time. They're bringing a TP over as well. VGJ Storm. Trying to make sure that they get this kill. They've got the cask. Flea. Should be able to get this one with the three of them chasing it down. I mean, it's a bit of a slow and painful kill. As I say, he's got boots. These guys don't have boots. Witch Doctor's got nothing. So Schofield's going to be able to continue to run. They have shards back up. He's going to need to have the perfect block ready to set up for this kill. And he's not going to get it. Schofield is chilling. He TPs out. And at the end of the day, it's just wasted time for three heroes of VGJ Storm. So space created indeed. Two supports have to go back to base. Three and a half minutes in, Flea. Still seeing just level one, only level two on the Witch Doctor. I'm feeling the infamous already very happy with the start that this goes. Katara CS, 19 for four. Down at the bottom, KP, 17 for four. So the two carries pretty even. CS in the middle lane as well. Ryo, 15 for six. Pepita, 18 for five. Slight edge for the sniper, but nothing too different indeed. Smoke up. From the boys, here we go. Excel and Schofield. We'll dispel that as Stan King, one on one. They'll find a DD rune. Flea looking to take it. We'll find it. Trying to go for the paralyzing cast. Bounces. They are close enough for one of them. With a maledict, shards, and double damage tusk, Axel will be taken down. Stan King gets forced away by Schofield. One more punch to the back, and Schofield claims the kill. Flea seeing if he can chase down and play around with this, but it's hard. He's still just level one. Schofield level two. Has the boots, and Flea still yet to be able to find the money for his own. Top, Katara making a bit of a go on to Snaking. TP back into the lane, comes in from Stanking. And they'll look now to chase back the CK shards. Slightly off the mark, Katara will be fine. Pushed to the side, and the trees can cut his way out if needed. Now Schofield and Axe out. Looking to mirror the movements of the supports of Storm as they come up towards the top lane. See if they can make anything happen here. Doesn't look like it. I'll we'll just get the ward down, get that vision to make that top lane a little nicer for Kataharo Hayama. Papita 23 for 8, 19 for 6. Mid lane continues to be pretty even. Ideally for Infamous, they would love to punish this Storm before he gets the ball lightning online. Top lane, bit of a go being made onto Katara Hayama. He's without support. And VGJ actually have enough damage to finish down this man off with the Paralyzing Cask and Maledict. It should be enough. Breathe Fire as well, bringing him down low. He will certainly pop to one more instance of the Maledict. Is Witch Doctor going to get the kill? Yes, he is. Happy days for Stanking. He'll also force back XL, who's coming in with a bit of a wraparound. They actually want to go for this kill. Diving in deep, moving in straight away. VGJ Storm find themselves a second kill. Oh, the Courier? Get that out of there. They have to. Scofield 
That's the sleep. He's looking to take down Flea. Sal's been popped. It's not going to save that. Tusky's popping the fairy fire as well. Flea trying to do his best to keep himself alive. It's actually going to work for now. He continues to juke. But Peter's come in with the TP. Flea goes for the TP out and he's gone. He is out of there. Same time though, we did miss it. Apologies. Mid lane, they lost the Storm Spirit. Up top, Katara Hayama actually ends up getting the kill onto Snakey. It's getting a little crazy, guys. Sorry for the T tours. Kills going on left, right, and center. A nice escape from Flea. Katara, build this game, treads into Armlet. Down bottom. KP, what's the plan for him? Yet to see what he's queued up. A lot of ways he could go. Actually going to be gone on that dream coil? Alright, moving in. Uh, I mean... I Just assert your authority on the lane. It's, you're never really going to get a kill there, but why not? <laughs> okay. And KP's fine. He's chilling down there. In fact, Stinger, he, he's going to get chased down. He's going to jump across, but KP's got vision of his whereabouts with the bug. I guess he's a little too deep in the tree line for KP to go for, and KP's just happy leaving him there, knowing that the puck's sort of out of lane and uh, not going to be able to harass this Weaver anytime soon. And in fact, having to TP back to the base, Stinger, off the back of that, so more space for KP on this safe lane. Having a very nice and easy start. But still early days. 5 for 3, net worth difference. Not much at all. Slight edge for Infamous, but only 1k at this stage does not mean much whatsoever. Snake King looking to get himself out of Soul Ring so he can keep up the spam. Katara keeps going in for a bit of a rasp, but very hard to rass out this Dragonite with the 3 points in Dragon Blood. We'll switch over to Network for you guys in chat. You guys got my back. It's a little bit early. Normally we go at 10 minutes, but with the way this game's going in terms of... Uh, there's been a fair few kills, a bit of action. It's always worth to switch over to the gold, and we can see uh, cause of Infamous doing slightly better. Schofield in trouble, though. Two supports. We'll be able to head over, take the Elder Titan down. Pepita going straight for the four staff as uh, the first bit of the Hurricane Pike this game. Reverse. Definitely with spells such as the uh, shards. Having a force early can be very nice. Makes it a lot harder for the Tusk to do his job. This thing actually is a little scared down bottom as he looks to be. Just hiding on the side, soaking up the experience. Up top. Infamous getting the try then back together. Schofield and Axel looking for an opportunity to go. They get the drag back onto Staking. Trying to look to maximize the amount of time they can control him. I could, it, now drag him in again. He is tanking. Oh, he's got, oh, is he going to get out of that? Oh, he just TPs it out. Whilst three heroes are having a right go at him. At the same time, mid lane, VGJ Storm going for Pepita. The Storm's in too deep. Nice reaction from Stinger comes in with the Silence. They have to get the turn kill. They do lose the Sniper as well. So one for one on the mid lanes. KP and Flea look to get themselves out. And he will. Uh, Snake in the power of the offlane DK there. Four points in the Dragon Blood. And uh, as it seems, these three heroes, even with the, the, the CK, having that armor reduction for the Reality Rift, it was not enough. He just walks out of there. What's KP got coming out to him? Oh, just picking up the stout items. It's got a killer on the way through. Mid lane. Ryo's only going to become a bit more trouble for the side. As I said, it was a good game for the Weaver in terms of lack of lockdown. And uh, the same can certainly be said for the, the Storm. And a real nightmare being caught out by the silence from this puck. Other than that, you can have a bit of a free game. On top, trying to put some pressure on. Snaking, shoving the lane forward. Just back up of both Flea and Stanking. If things start to go down. Oh, KP. Queuing up Maelstrom as his first item. Not the, not the most common. Uh, definitely one of the nicest in terms of uh, getting some damage online ASAP. And riding the advantage that you look to create. 
And uh, as I say, maybe he does. He feels safe enough. You know, Lincoln's this game isn't going to be that amazing. Up top, Katara Hayama. And in going on, he has the ultimate, turning towards snaking. They've tried this before. I don't know if they could go for this. In fact, they could be in trouble themselves. Coming forwards, Flea gets the snowball onto Stinger, and that's the puck down. Jumps into his own death. Bit of an awkward initiation there from Infamous coming back to hit them. That was even with this. They, well, they had this ward down, so they saw that the, the backup was coming in and ready behind it. Not really a fight that Infamous should have taken. Now, moving for Morris. Flea has the control onto Schofield. KP's going to be there, and it should be ample enough damage. One more Shikuchi in, and he'll be able to finish off Schofield as well. KP with the rotations, getting himself involved, getting these early kills. Peter's moved himself down bottom with the backup of Axa. See if there's going to be any sort of attempt to hold this by VGJ Storm. VGJ Storm take themselves to the top lane. Katara Hayama forced away from mid. KP now level 10 with a mana break talent. His damage is amped up and the annoyance, the nuisance is selling for more. Oh, oh, the cast bounces and the Maledict onto two. VGJ Storm catching out Infamous for trying to put together this bottom push. And I've got to say, Infamous making some big mistakes. And VGJ Storm capitalizing on them absolutely perfectly. And now they get the push on down bottom. They move the dragon down here. Four members of VGJ Storm grouped up, ready to back up each other. Mid lane Katara has finished the armlet, but uh, still is going to need a. A couple more items until he can chunk into the DK, even with the net worth looking good for him. It's just the fact that this Dragonite is so tanky. With the Dragon's Blood early game. And for Mr. TPing down, looks like they want to try and do something about this, but... I ain't gonna get it. VGJ Storm looking to move away from that bottom lane as soon as Infamous come in. Ryo's there, but I mean, as we say, I so hard to get. He tries for the silence, but he's nowhere near. Ryo's out. Mid lane, VGJ Storm see an opening. They're going onto Schofield. I oh, didn't get the Maledict out before the uh, Death War, but it looks like it won't matter. Flea does still manage to chase down and get the kill. Look back towards Stinger. Stinger has come across towards the mid lane. He's up to the high ground, up and away from this push though is VGJ Storm. Have to take another tier 1 tower away from Infamous. More money for KP as he gets closer and closer towards the Maelstrom. He's actually got his eyes on to Stinger. As Stinger will once again be out of there, jaunts up to the high ground. Mid lane Pepita coming quite far forward, Flea. So if he can get some control, a quick force from Pepita will shove himself back to safety. Fourteen minutes in, ten to six. BGJ Storm starting to to get some momentum and looking to play a little, just a little more polished than than Infamous so far. Few uh, sort of questionable plays from Infamous. They've got to they've got to tighten it up. Starting to go for some heavier pushing themselves. Tier two, same time VGJ Storm on their own tier two. Should be a straight trade for trade. Oh, I don't see anyone backing up to to fight at this point. A fortification for a fortification. VGJ Storm actually starting to sweep back down. Leaving the main two damage dealers up there to finish off the tower. But indeed. Tier 2. For Tier 2. Riot. Still working on that Bloodstone. No one really getting left behind in terms of farm. Puck slightly back a bit. But it's not it's not a terrible loss for, for Stinger. He's only a little bit behind. The bigger loss would be certainly considering the fact that you may have hoped for your Puck to, to do more. He's had a bit of a tough game trying to get involved. KP. He uh, actually changes up. Does go for the Diffusal Blade instead. 
I mean, Diffuser Blade could be very nice uh, against, for instance, the CK. CK, incredibly low mana pool. A few hits on to him with the Geminate attack, and uh, it's very hard for him to, to chase. Yeah, so he gets the ult out of his own mana. He's not much of an issue at all. Mid lane, trying to go in onto Stinger. He has already used the orb. I'll find him with the shards, but not quite close enough to really go for more. Face shifts back up. Stinger's able to dodge it, and in fact tries to turn. Puts the Dream Core down onto Stan King. He's got the back of a Katara in XL, so this will be a quick and easy kill as they take down Stan King. And now, as five, rotate towards the mid lane. And we'll be able to take this tier one as well. There we have it. Tier 1 tower. Going down. With a lot of ease. I want to say that there's Storm. I'm looking to fight you here. Pings out to KP in now. Okay. That's not going down with it. Staying up for now. I see Papita. He wants to finish it. It really does. But uh, at the end of the day, it's probably going to get to nine. Snaking. Oh, with this Shadow Blade purchase. Well, they do have the Sentry down. So another Snaking is inbound. Let's go back in. Will they get the deny? Yeah, they will. Snaking gets the deny in the tower. KP trying to get some sort of a, a look into the fight. But Infamous's tight positioning will be enough to, to keep them safe and allow Infamous to back back up. BKB next on the shopping list for Snake. What else have we got? Oh, actually, a yes. smoker. Okay. Time to push. Time to fight. See what they can get. Snaking, obviously, looking to uh, get an opening with the Shadow Blade, but doesn't find anyone at this position. Top lane, KP. Well, he's actually going to look to play around with Katara Hayama. You drop down the sentry. KP. Doesn't get dragged back. He's got the time lapse. He'll be able to keep himself safe. Back towards bottom. Tier 2 gets pushed around. Well, actually, Flea getting very deep here past the tower. Dream Coil. Assassinate. All thrown down as the Tusk goes just a little far forward. A little bit of spam ping in there from Ryo. Probably saying, what the hell are you doing behind that tier 2 tower, Flea? <laughs> the storm is not happy. But like, give me space, give me time. He needs that orchid. Oh, KP actually picking off the AA and uh, gets himself away as well. We're talking about the lack of lockdown this guy has. And oh my goodness, T Tour Central. Apologies, lads and ladies. Snaking ending up getting the kill onto Papita. Mid lane. Hey, we're not going to miss this one. KP chasing down Stinger. He's got one more orb. Oh, shoot, the Gemini. Oh, he dodges it into the Ancient Denite. <laughs> what a player. <laughs> Ice Blast. Got it. Oh, got him. <laughs> Get the Storm. Push him back. Keep the game going. 4k lead at the moment for Storm. 5k actually coming up. But Peter. Shadow Blade to be his next item. Some sort of a save being looked towards. Some sort of way of getting in and out of these fights when the uh, Storm zips in forcing. Forcing some detection to come out from VGJ Storm. Still though, the, uh, the issue is going to be getting the CK. They have to get Katara into these fights. He is the, the mass amounts of damage. And sure, they do have it. If they find good control with the Elder Titan, they'll have a lot of physical coming from the armor reduction. Oh, KP. He's got a double damage rune. What's he want to do? He's looking at Rush. He says he wants to try Rush. They've got the double damage rune out. Not going to be the quickest. Like, sure, Diffuser Blade is nice, but it's not an incredible amount of damage. It's a lot safer with snaking here. He can very easily tank for a long time. And with him tanking, 
they should get this one, no trouble. Right, unless... Not near at the moment. No damn bomb. So Aegis gone into the hands of Storm. Rai will take it. And push a little closer to having Orchid at his completion. Blink dagger the build for Katara. The old blink and slam. Realizing that they need to have better catch. And maybe with the blink and close range Chaos Bolt, they can sort of outplay and catch out KP and Ryo on the Weaver and the Storm, but still it's hard. It is hard. Absolutely, the offlane DK is certainly working out. Working out a treat here for VGJ. Look who they found. Oh, staying up. He's out. Take the tier two tower. BKB next for Snake. Bottom lane. Kataro and Axel trying to push it through. Kataro. Eh, no surprises. Going for the heart. It's a long way away though. He's going to need a lot of time. And VGJ Storm. Oh, stepping up the pressure quite nicely, really. 22 minutes, 12 for 8. KP with the full BKB now. I mean, at this point, you are. I don't think we're seeing this Weaver die, I'll be honest. There is very little excuse for KP dying now with his BKB in this game. He should, uh, he's probably going to live it to, to see the scoreboard at the end with zero deaths, I would imagine. Ryo very close to having that Orchid. Right, they're going to try bottom. Oh! Didn't necessarily need the BKB, but uh, he pops it nonetheless. The uh, time lapse enough to dodge the stun. Katara would be able to get out with the TP. And Axel, is he getting out as well? He's not. They'll be kept behind. They've got the stun. And uh, as we're seeing here, with BKB and time lapse, we were pretty hard to control. Fleet. Blink him. Has the control on Schofield. Goes for the stomp, but already the death ward's down. Stanking from the side lines, reaching in with the well warden. Takes that man down. Nice blast. Connects, but I don't know how much of an issue it's going to cause those two. Oh, up top. Ryo. He's got the orchid. He's looking for the sniper. He's not going to have enough damage, and he's actually out of mana now. So he's going to sort of be awkwardly left here. In fact, with uh, with the team turning around, they're trying to go for him. Have they got the control? With that stun, they certainly have. They'll take him down once, but Peter gets rolled on, though. Fleet finds the sniper. It's going to be round two for Ryo. He's ready to go with the Aegis in short. They may have taken the Aegis out of his hands, but they're losing here after hero. It cost them Flea's life, but VGJ Storm do not care whatsoever about that the ultimate Aegis debate you cannot go too hard on a storm with Aegis because he is just going to respawn and go absolutely ham on you they have to get out of there sure if you want to get that Aegis sure but you, you can't stick around and now with a 10k gold lead things looking pretty miserable for infamous 18 to 9, VGJ Storm. Very much ready to push it to base. There's a DD rune there as well. They want to grab and go. Snaking a little low on the mana. If with the Soul Ring, he's, he's still fine to push if they want to in 30 seconds. When I have the Elder Dragon form back up and available. What's he got coming out? The Kaya. The game winning item for the Star Spirit. Infamous. Smoking up. Stanking's positioning, though, is dispelled the smoke and they've dusted. They feel that someone's around them, like the Shadow Blade of DK. But standing right where he was there. Nice. Nice positioning from Stan. He's got eyes on them all. 
Mid lane Stinger jumps in, but he just can't get the lockdown, can't get the control. The rest of VGJ Storm swooping around. They've got their eyes onto Stinger. He'll jump up to the high ground, but look who's there, ready and waiting, snaking, ready to go. Silence comes in from Ryo. They take down one. They're looking to zip across for more. They've got the control. Katara Ayama actually able to turn, though. Finds Ryo. Katara falls very, very low. KP with the BKB should be fine to look for the cleanup. They get Katara Ayama. KP looking for the back lines, trying to find Pepito. He's able to force himself down to the low ground. Infamous are able to take two this time. They do get two in response. Pepito going for the TP out, and he will make it. So, a two for two. All right, make it a three for two. Schofield, I don't know what he was chasing for here, but he walks up to the high ground. They do end up losing three. I mean, sure, the big kill, they were actually able to kill the Storm, but uh, it cost them three heroes. And even though they were behind, that's still a good trade for Storm. Oh, yeah. 27 minutes in. KP both Maelstrom and Diffusal. This is a lot of damage from this lightning bug. Ryo. He's found himself Stinger. And with this build, no Yules, no nothing to keep him safe from a storm with an Orchid. It's pretty much a free kill every time the puck comes out. Oh, blink dodge. I'm off. This is looking very off. Uh, this is going to require some, some top throwing from VGJ. Nah. I don't think there's any doubt about that. They are just being kept shoved into their base. You see Katara now and then trying to break out and get some sort of farm. Uh, level 15 on the CK, level 20 on KP. You see the graph here, it's not pretty. And the same to be said with experience. There we go, Riot baits out the ultimate. What can Katara do? I mean, he can maybe try and go go in on that with his blink. But it looks like he's heading away in the river. They've already lost one or are losing one. Schofield's been caught out. Ryo has to jump straight away onto the puck who can't get a single spell out. And Ryo's looking for more. Going in, finds the vision onto Pepita. He's trying to get out. Will force himself down to the low ground. Axel goes to the TP. Ryo continuing to chase Pepita down. They've lost two. Make that three. Ryo picks up the double kill. Three kills yet again for VGJ Storm. As down the mid lane they go. Three heroes down. It's looking rough for Infamous. This will guarantee to be a mid lane of Rax. Maybe even more. KP's already got his eyes on the prize down bottom. Kataro. He just keeps coming out, trying to farm where he can, trying to potentially cut waves if he wants to. No, he's. Where's he heading? Oh, these are the scary ancients. You want to be careful here, sir. These ancients will turn, they will kill you. Okay, he's got the big one. Just trying his best to farm where Storm would least expect it. For now, it's working. He'll find the money for the ultimate orb. The closer he gets to his Manta style, the better. And the closer they are to maybe being able to turn it around a little bit. Out of time. He's been found. Ryo. Ooh, not quite getting the kill. Soul Bomb was enough. He needed one more touch on that. And he didn't have it. S 
16k. All, uh, all eyes on this uh, CK sniper. They've got decent high ground uh, defense, but at the same time, VGJ Storm have got really good high ground push. There's no doubt about that one. Back outside their base. Shoving them in. Probably just going to wait on Ryo to have a Shiva's guard. Before they try and zip him for any more crazy action. Infamous Katara. Being very, very cautious with how he farms. Got a big wave pushing in top. That is a lot of range creeps and siege creeps. So this will have to be addressed. And uh, actually, turn both both cores want it. KP and Snaking. Don't know if that was necessarily the plan to send both back, but one of those situations where they both saw that and they both wanted that. Katara on high ground. AC complete for the DK. And ooh, actually looking to go in. Oh, he just gets shredded. Oh, by the ball lightning. Easy double kill for Riot. Forces Stinger back as well. And still now what's around on a, on a healthy 90 bloodstone charges. And that will be the range racks down in the middle. They head towards bottom. VGJ Storm. Clean this one up. The DK offlane worked. And all in all, the draft was great. I think at the end of the day, it was uh, what we sort of worried about at the start. Lack of lockdown. How are you going to deal with this Weaver and Storm getting ahead? You have what? Realistically, you have a silence. Talk about silences. Ryo able to get the Orchid onto the puck once again. He still never managed to get that Yule Scepter. One could say, you know, maybe maybe you would have preferred to see the Yules before the Veil this game. Either way, I think it's just a hard game. This is the, the draft was... A, it looked good for Infamous. Like, their draft is good, but I think... The, the thing is, their lineup's really strong. And GG well played will be called cool. Storm takes the game. Uh, but there's, the Storm's answer with the Weaver in the Storm Spirit is really nice. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the GG Storm will take the game. Infamous. Will take the loss. Ooh. Ooh. I'm really stretch, right? All right, I've got to wake up, guys. It's early morning. I'll tell you what, I turned the heat on too hot. It's getting hot in here. Oh, we got... Ooh, rank six, eh? Very nice.